Today we'll be solving the equation x to the 1 half equals 2 plus 15x to the negative 1 half. Our first step is to move everything to the same side. This becomes x to the 1 half minus 2 minus 15x to the negative 1 half equals 0. Now this is not yet in a quadratic form, but it can be if we multiply both sides by x to the 1 half power. This makes our first term x, our second term 2x to the negative 1 half, and our third term a constant of negative 15. So now we'll make a substitution of u equals x to the 1 half power. Substituting this in, this gives us u squared minus 2u minus 15 equals 0. So now we can factor this. The factors of negative 15 that make negative 2 are negative 5 and positive 3. Now we take turns setting each one equal to 0. This gives us u minus 5 equals 0 or u plus 3 equals 0. Moving 5 to the other side gives us u equals 5. Now we want to substitute x back in, so x to the 1 half equals 5. Squaring both sides gives us x equals 25. Now we'll do the same thing with u plus 3. This gives us u equals negative 3. Substituting x back in gives us x to the 1 half power equals negative 3. Now when we square both sides, this gives us x equals 9. Since this problem involves square roots, which could be undefined if negative, we'll check for extraneous solutions. Plugging in 25 gives us the square root of 25 equals 2 plus 15 over the square root of 25. This gives us 5 equals 2 plus 15 over 5. This gives us 5 equals 2 plus 3. This is true, so 25 is a solution. Plugging in 9 gives us the square root of 9 equals 2 plus 15 over the square root of 9. This gives us 3 equals 2 plus 15 over 3. 15 over 3 is 5, so this says 3 equals 2 plus 5. This is not true, so x equals 9 is extraneous, and our solution to the equation is x equals 25.